gap. Well, it's just, that's just a sipe. A little more side bite. And it's so sad because all the tires are like brand new, like tread wise, but crack from sitting. So if you saw the last video, we ended it about to start this thing, old yeller. We're gonna do that now. Gonna Let's see. The battery's in there. Breaker, breaker. I got this uh, seat back in. CV radio with anal. When I was trying to turn it over the other gay, the other gay, off camera, it uh, the starter kind of clunked and then didn't go anymore. But I, it could have been hot. Huh? Let's just see. Oh, well, starter still works. So that's a bonus. Okay, hold on. Let's kill the battery. Let's get some gas. Get some gas in there. Yeah. Got right gas here. pouring everywhere. Pumper. Crank it. Squirting. Almost sounded like it, but. What? Choke it. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Do you have the, open the choke. Don't keep it closed while you're choking her off. Hold on. Well, it's cold. Well, I mean, it's not that cold. It almost started before he touched the choke and then he closed it all the way. I'll flood her out. Got a hydraulic. Okay, now give her. Pump it a couple times and, okay, go. Hold it to the floor. Close the choke maybe halfway. Hold on. Well, it almost sounded like maybe it was pumping or squirting, I mean. Open the choke. Pump. Oh yeah. You can hear it. No, you got gas. Just hold it to the floor. Oh. I wonder if the timing, because the timing looks way retarded. Well, it sounds lazy, yeah. Let's see if the distributor. It's tight. Oh, no. Try that. Well, that was about 10 degrees. Did you just move it a lot? Yeah. Oh, oh it's way, way back, which way depending deep. on where number one is, but it looks like number one's in the proper spot. So that would be way retarded, the timing. <laughs> no, it sounds like too much now. Oh, much. Hold on. Speaking of retards. <laughs> oh, almost. Tell them we're pumping. Tons of fuel. Well, it's actually getting gas now, which it wasn't before. So I don't know if it's a little flooded now. I, I think so. Yeah. Just let it sit don't, for a few don't minutes. Don't smoke maybe. out here. We got some cables. Let it uh, drain the fluid out of there, fuel out of there right. a bit. I was going to say, yeah, if you had some starting fluid. Ready? No Is Clayton ready or what's he doing? Yeah. Okay. You want me to choke? See, yeah, like that's what it was doing the other day. It should go. That's the best it could do. Well, just keep cranking it. It should start. It's being tricky to start, guys. Definitely smells like it. Give it a bit more time. What Good. am I going to do that he can't do? You never know. Huh? Huh? Maybe you'll time? do the, uh, right. the magic touch. Before the GoPro dies. Breaker, breaker, one nine. <laughs> Easy. Oh. Oh. Timing's off. It's 
definitely the closest it's been. Oh, it was running for a second. Yeah. I mean, I I kicked the choke off right away, but maybe I should have waited. <laughs> no horn. I need this. <laughs> I need a steering wheel like this. It's actually not bad, eh? Like I'm trying the, to find the rim. One for the Jimmy, I want to find one stock. One. The rim is pretty clean. Yeah. What'd you do, Clayton? hell yeah <laughs> it's almost like something might be messed up with it <laughs> uh, i don't know i mean it was running the plugs could just be really crappy or dirty or flooded or yeah there might be something actually wrong with this uh one of the components here like distributor or the carburetor or something because it seems to be getting fuel like i said if anything it's, it could be the plugs are bad or yeah but that you could pull plugs. a plug out and see what it looks like like maybe yank a plug and take a look if they're really gross or wet. Super easy to get to. Well, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Easy to pull a plug. I guess we'll do that next. Oh yeah, the plug wires. We should probably watch for those. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Oh, can definitely smell gas. Did any shoot out? No. Not really. not like a. There was other oh, stuff. Not like a swamped engine, there. but. Can definitely smell gas coming out of there. Yeah. So we pulled all the plugs. Uh, this one might have a problem with it. That's his Clayton broke. Definitely. <laughs> they, look, they look mint. But the rest of them are pretty disgusting. They all looked basically like this. Just a quick clean up and put them back in. Yeah, that's pretty uh, grody. That might be it for the adventure with this today. This ring's closed already. What time are they closed? Yeah, I guess it's not Saturday. like we need to order them. You can just get these anywhere. What time is it? No. Uh, Canadian Tire would have. This ring, I think, is closed already. Maybe continue tomorrow. All right, guys. I went to a uh, part source local parts place, R45 TS, AC Delco's, what I ended up with. Apparently, this is what you want to do for a truck uh, that's older on the internet. Uh, I read one post on a forum and I was sold. They said those, <laughs> that was the way to go. And if had I ordered them online, it would have been $25, but I had to wait eight days until next Monday or pay for the quicker shipping, and it was the same price as getting them here. So. Yeah, this way I can put something in here today, fill the holes so the cylinders don't get rusty, and maybe even hear it run. So uh, I'm going to pop these in and we'll turn the key again. So I got all the uh, sparky plugs in there, but I'm running into the problem now of not knowing which wire went to which plug before, and it's probably a good time to verify that that was all correct. Even though everything here looks like very original, like no one had messed with it, I'm gonna pop the distributor cap off and have a look in there. Way less experience with this stuff than I am the LS stuff, but it's kind of why I got this truck. All right, I think we're ready. This time I set up a uh, wall over here because this uh, exhaust is blowing all over, <laughs> blowing carbon on the neighbors yesterday. So I got the spark plug wires figured out, I believe. Uh, Rob ended up just uh, circling which one was number one for me. I sent him a video and then I was able to figure the rest out from there, but uh, Shit, let's turn the key. See what happens. Dodge the poop stain in the seat there. And hopefully, I mean, it hasn't tried to lurch forward yet. It's a little sketchy not having brakes, I think. Okay, give her one, two pumps, maybe a little bit of choke. Still not going to be easy, apparently. Hmm. All the choke. Hello. Wow, guys. Need choke still? No. Ah. Er, my guard. Look at that. It's not blowing too much black smoke now. Shit. <laughs> it runs like perfect. Huh. Well, 
Okay, so it uh, still needs a little <laughs> bit of tuning. But yeah, it ran pretty good there for a little bit. Let's try to start it again. That's exciting, guys. It's so quiet. Like, I know it's not a hot rod just because it's old and has a small block Chevy. But you know what I mean? Like, I kind of expect, I don't know, more noise out of it. But here, let's see if get her to start again. Maybe it still likes to choke. Definitely not perfected. I also got to check the uh, transmission fluid if I can get it to run for a little bit. Well, I guess I can't run it through the gears yet. I'll do that. I still got to put that brake caliper on, guys. So that's going to be next. I just wanted to get it running because it's pretty cool to have it running. Let's go look under the hood again. It's perfect. Any fuel leaks? Not that I see. Leaks under here. Everything looks good. rattling noise in there. Let's look into that more. But yeah, it's running. It's a runner. The rattling could just be the could just be the exhaust. Definitely smells uh, like it hasn't ran for a while. <laughs> what next? All right, it is a few hours later now. Uh, I have put the brake caliper on this side. It didn't seem to be leaking. I'll have to look into that more. I uh, thought I had brake fluid to top that up, but I do not. So I'm not sure if I can put it in gear, but I want to check the transmission fluid. See if it starts again first here. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Thought I'd see if I had any pedal at all. Uh, I probably can't see, but <laughs> the pedal is like completely dead and the brake light is on. So, uh, shit, I really want to try pop. <laughs> we shouldn't do it though. I don't want to back into the shed or hit the uh, vehicle in front of me. So uh, we'll have to wait to see if the transmission works till another time. Yeah, that is quite the fucking death noise it makes on diesel. Let's go have a listen to that again. Yeah, that uh, doesn't sound too great. And to be honest with you guys, if this 350, 305 is what it is actually, if this 305 is no good, it's not getting another Gen 1 small block. I can almost guarantee that because the amount of money it would take to get one of these and set it up to go in here, it just doesn't make sense. Like I'd put in an LS, probably one with Gen 4 rods even because you can have those for cheaper than you can find these and build them for. And it's arguably way better engine i mean i really think this gen 1 small block is cool myself and i want to have one and you guys sent me some cams so i really hope this one's okay for that reason i almost would put in another one just because cams and yeah but the ls is like you can't logically you, you can't beat it although haggard and stock and from a farmer's field still sounds kind of okay Definitely a nice rumbly low V8 noise. Working tail lights. The uh, headlights don't seem to want to work. So I'll have to check grounds for that. That's probably all that is. And 
And I'm not quite sure what's up with this engine. It, uh, just listen to this, guys. Uh, yeah, that, <laughs> that kind of sounds like a bearing to me. I, I don't know tons about these things. I know my uh, heater control looks nice gauges but I do know that sounds like a fucking death noise so you can see the black smoke it shoots out too okay I gotta stop doing that 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 just feels terrible but I think that's where we're gonna leave her I'm just gonna check the transmission fluid see what's up there but we're losing daylight and uh, I'm gonna call her a Sunday and go inside and edit some of this stuff so yeah next time we'll get this thing driving now that we got it running when you can't find a funnel Make one out of paper. And then, of course, you want to uh, dispose of this paper properly and legally after using it as a funnel. This is a good side of the road technique, or a uh, all your funnels are dirty technique. So I don't know guys, this thing might be a bit of a lost cause. That uh, really sounds like a bearing or rod rattling around in there to me. I'm no pro, it could just be something like loose underneath the truck that needs to be tightened, but I'm pretty sure it's fucked. It'll feel too bad because I kind of expected that. I mean, this truck, I bought it for $800, remember that. So it kind of is what it is. And the value is in like the, the truck itself, the square body and like that nostalgia factor and stuff. Having a uh, original engine isn't so important and it'd probably sell a lot better if I did put an LS in it and it was more of like a get in and start it up and drive. Good fuel mileage for a heavy truck type deal. Yeah, that's where we're gonna leave it. I'm really happy it runs. I mean, had to get it running to figure out if it was no good anyway, but it still might be good. We'll find out next time when we drive it. Do burnouts with it, hopefully, with any luck. Later. Hey.